out here with the uh, infraction twin motor setup I want to make some test hits sorry about the truck noise California you're not supposed to idle trucks but it's a hot day so it is the evening so I'm gonna try to make a, a test pass with this So I'm going to do a light test pass with the infraction. I just want to make sure that uh, it's not going to lose control. I do have GPS on it because if it's going well, I will start continue to hit the trigger to see if I can max out this setup. But if anything starts going funny, I will be letting off. I don't think I'll be going over the hill today. I am by myself, so I don't have anybody to really watch to see if cars are coming and this car does get squirrely this twin motor build is uh is definitely a tough one okay i don't really see any cars coming so i'm gonna go ahead and send it I let off early because I heard I ended drifting towards the center and I heard something. So I did let off early. This car is just driving the neighborhood, which is scary because this is commercial. A couple of girls, she's probably getting her license. I should check temperature on this. Yeah, we're gonna bring it over to the car. I'm gonna check temperature because this one's been having temperature issues. But that was three quarters throttle before I had to let off. It sounded like the front splitter had hit something. Um, when it gets up to speed, it starts sucking down the front of the car. So it probably sucked it to where it hit the ground because this road's pretty smooth right now. This road is definitely smooth. So, but that's the cleanest pass that I've made with this car. Let me tilt this down. Cleanest pass I've made trying a speed run with this car so far. Let me grab my heat gun. Sorry guys. I know the camera's probably pointed low. So, 102. And 101. So, they did pretty good. Let's see what the GPS has to say. I gotta cut it off this because I have it zip tied in the back in case I crash. So, stop ride, end ride, yes. So it says 88.5 miles an hour. Now, that's probably about right because the gearing in it's set up for 90 to 100. So I'm still waiting on gearing, but 88. 88.5 so and that's three quarters throttle it's probably 90 95 mile an hour car with this gearing 
um, because the pinion or the spur is so big so my plan is to drop the spur down and uh, and then uh, change out the pinions to bigger pinions to get it closer to 101 but right now it's got 23 tooth pinions with a 71 tooth spur so it's not geared for top speed it's geared for low end torque but at least I have a roundabout it went 88 it went pretty straight other than it sucking down and scraping and hitting the ground everything else went pretty good but there you go guys I'm gonna end this footage on this I'm gonna get the other car ready and I'm gonna make a test pass uh, with uh, the limitless all right guys thanks for watching all right guys I'm getting my blue limitless which I call limitless number two setup so I'm gonna switch the remote over to that model should be called limit number two and we're gonna get some power set up on this thing get my straps down again when I have to loosen the straps for charging and then I take this little bit down here and I make a loop so I can get it out take the balance port wires always stick them underneath so they're not bouncing around take this wire and this goes underneath make them tight take the last bit apart and loop it around I don't need the heat gun or the scissors let's power it up make sure that my steering trim is working yep I'm not even gonna tape the body on this one because this one is just set up for 130 the problem is I haven't hit 130 my personal best in this one so far is the 126 flat yesterday was so hot out here that it shut down and I don't know why so hopefully I can get some data on it today and we're gonna go rip this one so hopefully it doesn't shut down on me let me get you guys tilted down a little bit more I am by myself so same thing with this one if I hear anything funny I'll let off I try not to do back-to-back -back runs I probably should have checked the wheel hexes on this all I did was charge up the batteries clear the data log make a couple braking changes so I have more brake and figure send it again I am gonna have to change out the batteries in my remote soon they are pretty weak Okay, I'm pretty straight. I don't see any cars. I went over the hill again I think I know where it's at but I'm gonna walk that way I know it's in the center so I'm not gonna try to turn around the brakes definitely were a lot better because I was almost able to stop before that hill when I got to me is when I finally hit full trigger 
and then I saw the dirt kick up and I backed out yeah I could see the car sitting in the middle so I'm gonna try to whip a u-turn and uh, see if I can get this car around oh did it hit the curb Looked like it might have brushed the curb. My steering's set way down right now. So I have the steering limited. I should have just turned it up. But I am recording, so I didn't want to deal with it. Hopefully it was a good run and we're close to the 130 now because that'll be my personal best with this car. And this car's been doing really, really, really well. So I'm going to get you guys turned down here, take the GPS off, hopefully it had enough time in the throttle to record it. I am shaking a little bit, I always shake after speed runs and ride, yes. There we go guys, 130, 130.6. So that's where this gearing is maxed out on this, I know this, so I was able to max out this gearing. Let me get the ch temps checked, but I'm proud of that 130 on this car. I knew it had it in it. So I finally maxed out the gearing in it. I'm very happy with that. Where's my temp gun? Let me check this little, this little Castle 1515 is really impressive. 125, 124. So I imagine it was probably around 130. And these Mamba Monster X8S 105. These things run so cold. 106. So, yeah, probably somewhere around 18, 110 by the time I checked it. The ground temp is 105 today. So, it is in the evening. I'm very, very, very impressed with that run on this blue car. So. When you gear a car to 130 and to be able to max it out to the 130, that's letting you know that everything's working properly. So I'm very happy that I was able to max out this car at 130. And uh, next is going to be, uh, be my uh, car I'm scared of. Because every time I run that car, I, uh, I crash it. But that one's been to 135. So... I know that one's got a lot more in it. That one's got a 4070 can and is geared one to one. But I'm just trying to get my skill level up before I start sending my max car again. So I'm gonna get this thing uh, unplugged. And I'm probably gonna up a couple teeth in this car because I think it'll handle it. I honestly do um, this is a basic build this is a stock limitless no diff changes no shock changes I adjusted the ride height I set my alignment I'm running infraction wheels and tires and uh, I put a 1515 in it 2200 kV and a Mamba Monster X8S that's it guys um, gearing on this one is conservative it's 27 34 so it's really really conservative and uh, yeah it's taken me I want to say six months to get that car to max out that gearing And like I said, it just took a good road. And so far, let me get this remote put away. So far on this road, I've had no crashes because it's smooth and there's no reflectors. So road is everything, guys. You know, I've been down so many roads that are iffy, but that's all, that's the only choice I have. Now that I have this option, I wanna to try to run as much as I can out here because uh, I know 
that this road is going to end up with reflectors on it. So I'm trying to get out here every chance I can. So, as you see, it's nice and quiet today. This is an industrial section, um, and it's a holiday weekend. So, you know, the center, you don't want to drive in the center. It's got this, uh, it's got this line where they laid the right half and the left half. So that'll make your car wiggle. So when I got to the center with the dual motor one and it started scraping that front, I let off. But that car's getting dialed in slowly. And then you have these things, you know? Some tar that was dropped, you know? And if you hit those things with the splitter, you know, it's gonna, it's especially a low splitter that's sucked down, you're gonna have issues. So this road is pretty clean right now. It's smooth because up there used to have a big dip. So if I got to the top of the hill up there, I, I'd have to slow down. There was a dip at the driveway and then I can go ahead and make my pass. But since they ground this road and redid it, it's pretty smooth. And the only reflector I have on the road right now is where that fire hydrant is. There's a one blue reflector out there showing that there's a fire hydrant there so for me for california this is an awesome road you see those uh those things those are what you got to worry about on the road they're kind of like reflectors so somebody coming home from vacation but like comment subscribe i'm gonna get out this road as much as i can and uh, make some more passes i ripped uh the limitless the blue one today 130 which i'm very proud of 130.6 almost 131 and i ripped the dual motor that got to about where it should be 88 point whatever that was so like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys on my next video we got to get out and do some bashing too thanks guys